It is very confusing, but turns out it might have something to do with symptoms or doctors. We talked to a woman named Tana Goglin who says she got a $300 bill for a summer drive up COVID test at CHI Franciscan in Bonnie Lake. She says she called them first, told them she had symptoms. She says they then told her to come through the drive through clinic. No appointment needed. Well, she thought it was a free test as CHI notes if you go to their website. So she was stunned to get a bill, especially since her daughter's boyfriend, she says, got a COVID test and paid nothing. She tried to dispute it. She says the woman who helped her at CHI billing even agreed that it should be free. But months later, Tana got another bill saying her dispute was denied. And the lady who I talked to on the phone, Mary, said that everybody that went to that location was tested. And I think about this young mom with the child and, and anybody else who's going through this and is, you know, maybe unemployed or just suffering from the pandemic and she's having to pay for it. I'm having to pay for it when, you know, you hear on the news constantly, anybody who needs a test can get a test. We took Tana's complaint straight to Virginia Mason Franciscan Health and a spokesperson says in part, patients may still receive a bill for other services or treatment provided during the appointment. Many factors impact billing and patients are encouraged to check with their insurance providers directly to determine what is covered. So what that means is if you've got symptoms, you could be charged, not for the test per se, but for treatment related to those symptoms. When I talked to the state's insurance commissioner, they said that is not how it's supposed to work and said Tana should file a complaint to their office. The only time your insurance isn't required to pay for a COVID test is when it's required for work or travel. So under the CARES Act, all health insurers must pay for medically necessary COVID testing. The provider decides if the test is necessary, not the insurer. There's no copay or deductible for the test and associated visit, and the insurer must pay for the testing whether the provider is in the plan's network or not. The state's insurance commission says even if CHI charged Tana after running it through insurance, their office could try to remedy that. Also, I should mention, I did talk to the attorney general's office. They are looking into this issue as well because perhaps other people might be in Tana's same situation as well. So we'll stay on top of it and we'll let you know what happens. In the meantime, back to you.